Good morning, gamers. It is I, the Emperor of Video Games, the Final Gamer. How's everyone doing today? How cold is it there? It's it's a little cold. The the hood is mainly for effect, honestly. The, the, shockingly, uh, I mistimed today a little and kind of kind of rammed into the back end of this stream, you know. Uh, but but we're okay. So okay. Plan today is to play some Tekken 8 on stream. Play some ranked Tekken 8 as I prepare for the upcoming fighting game tournaments. However, now some of you aren't going to believe this, okay? But the final gamer got undone by his only weakness. Basic time management. I forgot to download Tekken 8 in advance. And it's still downloading. Turns out that motherfucking game is 88 gigabytes, and that takes a minute. Uh. <laughs> but it's okay, we're gonna chill, and we're gonna, in the meantime, we're gonna play another little game called Dissolution. I have heard a few bits and pieces about this game. Livelin ADHD moment. See, I don't wanna say it's an ADHD moment, because. I don't, I, I have never been like diagnosed with ADHD and I feel like that might be like a little disrespectful to people who are. I don't know. I, I wouldn't find it uh, that shocking. I don't. Chat, what, what would the general consensus on that be? Uh, do you think you can be FD in Tekken? FD? Veek plays Tekken? I mean, I've been training. Chat, I've been training. I've been training with a broken, broken finger though and that's made things difficult. That, 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 that's, that has made things quite challenging. I bet money you have ADHD. <laughs> I don't know. Zachary Jack, eh, I don't think you are. Yeah, I don't know. John doesn't have ADHD. He has 8,000. <laughs> 80,000 HD. Uh, how does caffeine affect you? If you can't, if you can sleep with it, then you might really want to look. Well, if you, I, I, I totally can't sleep with it. Uh, have ADHD, it wouldn't be like upset. With you so okay where, where that comes from for me is sometimes like like I have I have like genuine dyslexia like actual actual dyslexia and when I hear people say stuff like oh just had a dyslexic moment it's like no motherfucker no you didn't you were just being absent-minded and I don't wanna unless I at some point I will probably get tested for ADHD and I can announce on stream whether I was or was not but up until that point, I don't really want to, I don't know, I don't want to, don't want to infringe on people. I feel like maybe it's not, not super cool. The, 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 listen, the, 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 the final gamer is a socially conscious gamer. Politically agnostic, but socially conscious, okay? And I never, never want to step on someone's toes. Getting diagnosed takes so much time and effort. It's so weird, but it does. Here, I also have ADHD and would not be surprised if you got a diagnosis. No, I wouldn't be overly surprised either, but I wouldn't I wouldn't want to assume, you know. Who's that Pokemon? It's Gengar. Man, chat. In my in my journey today, I found one of the greatest pictures I think I've ever fucking seen, okay? So I found the original production image of Gengar. And as you all know, Gengar is the perfect Pokemon. Um, I love Gengar so much. I, I spiritually relate to it. And I found the like initial piece of Gengar concept art. Uh, take a look at this! How... How amazing is that? I don't think I've e This is the Ken Sugimori sketch of Gengar. Uh, I, I don't think I have ever related to any single illustration more than this. If someone was to ask me, like, what are you? What is your existence? I think this is what I'd show them. I'd be like, this is what I am. Just, just, just a little guy. You know, kind of chunky. Uh, a little, a little, a little, a little bit of a, a nether person, a, a, a being from beyond. But I'm, I'm not hurting no one. You know, like I just feel like that's what that's what this image says. You know, it, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's it's really beautiful. 
Will you do another Silent Hill Ascension stream? Also, I think you skipped episode 3, 4, and 5. I really don't think I did, but I will look into that. Um, it sounds to me like maybe you missed a video? I'm not sure. He didn't, but I'm dying for episode 8. Okay, we're not playing Silent Hill Ascension this evening, but what I will say... What I have heard about Silent Hill Ascension is that there may be an orgy involved somewhere. Which... <laughs> oh boy! I can't wait to see that game's uh, take on orgies. That's gonna be funny. And what type Pokemon gym leader would you be? Uh, with Dark Fighting. Dark Fighting, baby. Silent Hill Ascension has an orgy. Please, you gotta go back. I shall go back. Absolutely. How's your finger? Uh, I am going to an orthopedic surgeon tomorrow to have my finger examined. Uh, I'm worried he's gonna, or she, or she, I don't fucking know, I don't want to assume. I'm worried that they're gonna cut it open, and I'm gonna have to get surgery there and then. And the fighting game tournament is Saturday! Uh, yep. I am officially signed up for a, from a Tekken 8 tournament on Saturday. I'm going to travel down to Cork, I am going to compete. If my surgeon permits me, um, I'm terrified, but we'll see. Will your entire team be made out of Scrafties? I would absolutely roll with a team full of Scrafties. They're one of my favorite Pokemon on the deck checker. Are you good at Tekken? Uh, well, we're gonna, we're gonna find out on this stream, aren't we? If you hadn't missed Silent Hill episodes, then you didn't stream those or Fox Uh, like, there's, I, there's episodes out that I haven't watched yet. Like, that we have, we just have not watched on stream. I really don't think I missed episodes, did I? I, I? I will check with that, but I'm I'm so sure we haven't. I think I would have been... I think I think someone would have screamed at me already if I had. Um, okay. Real quick, I want to talk about my initial thoughts on the first seven hours of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Um, there won't be any... There kind of will be spoilers here. I, I think I just lied. Um, but it'll only be the first seven hours and certainly nothing late game or something huge. Uh, I think Final Fantasy Rebirth is a really fun game to chill with. I like the vibe. I like hanging out with, with, with the crew. That's all great. In general, what I feel about the storytelling is... I feel like it sacrifices a lot of the quality storytelling from Final Fantasy VII to either have more typical gameplay moments or to do weird, cool anime shit. So, for example, um, the Nibelheim flashback from original Final Fantasy VII, where you find out what the fuck Sephiroth is, that bit's like 20 to 40 minutes. You're in and out, and it's so crazy impactful. I played through the whole thing in one sitting in, in Rebirth, and it's now about three hours long with like a dungeon in there. And I really felt it was like just nowhere near as strong as the storytelling from the original. Um, I think it's cool that they let you play as Sephiroth, but I also feel like he feels so underpowered in it because they, they balanced him, you know, they balanced him to make him feel like a member of your party. But in the original Final Fantasy VII, as Cloud, you hit that dragon and you do like 40 damage. And then Sephiroth hits it and does like 2,500. And it's like in that moment, you're like, this is the gap between me and Sephiroth. This is fucking insane. It's such a like beautiful and concise moment of storytelling that takes place through the gameplay. Like it's, it's fucking so good. And there's nothing to that equivalent in Rebirth, which I thought, like, was kind of a bummer, you know? And then, like, I found the same with the Midgar Serpents. In the original game, it's like, the Midgar Serpent is this complete barrier that you have to puzzle your way past, you know? It's such a massive and strong thing that you can't beat it. Like, if you fight the Midgar Serpent, you just get your shit rocked. It's completely impossible. You have to go to the farm, you have to get a chocobo, and you have to run past it. And you really, you feel like you're getting away with something when you run past it. Then you get to the other end, and Sephiroth, this motherfucker, has impaled a Midgar Serpent on a massive stream. Because again, that's the distance between you and Sephiroth. And it just, it's fucking fantastic storytelling. Like, it's so good. Like, getting your shit rocked by that serpent becomes part of the gap between you and Sephiroth. And that's what, all what that game is about. 
I think very clearly that's not what they're going for in Rebirth or they just don't really give a shit, you know? Like, now you fight the Midgar Serpent and it's a normal boss fight. Like, it's a hard boss fight, but it's a normal boss fight and you beat it. And then there's a cutscene of it dragging Cloud to the bottom of the lake and then Sephiroth teleports in and kills it. And it's like, you get this kind of, like, moments between... Sephiroth and Cloud and there's like a lot of them. I think if you're into like Yaoi or something, you're probably eating good. Uh, as someone who, who does not give a fuck about Yaoi, um, so a lot of these moments kind of leave me like, okay, sure, maybe it'll pay off down the line. Shiny Tuka, John is not a Yaoi enjoyer. Hey, look, y Yaoi ain't for me, you know? Yaoi, Yaoi is for people who are not like me and God bless, enjoy. Okay, all that said, those are the things I didn't like about, I don't like about Rebirth so far. In general, I really like the dialogue. I find, like, Tifa and Aerith really charming. I like their le weird little girl-bro friendship. I think that's really fun. I think in general, like, it's made me laugh a couple of times. It is well written. Uh, the, the battle system is still a delight. I really enjoy, like, as much as I said, like, the fight with Midgar Serpent doesn't really tell the same story. I actually really enjoyed the, um... I really enjoyed the actual boss fight itself and I have always loved Elena from Final Fantasy 7. Seeing her fleshed out in the introductory cutscene with her was fucking fantastic. That is my favorite moment of Rebirth so far. So look, I'm still in, I'm still enjoying it and I'm still, I, I, I'm still open to be won over. Did you play the Crisis Core remake? And if you did, yeah. So I've never played Crisis Core. And here's 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 my thing, Chao, okay? I don't give a fuck about Zack. Never have, never will. Is there any point in me playing Crisis Core? <laughs> oh no, a portion of chat is appalled. Same, but they really want you to care about Zack. Yeah. Um, is Crisis Core going to be a bunch of Nomura bullshit? Like that, that's, that's, that's my question. You get gaxed though, you are not selling me. I'm seeing a lot of mixed, and I, I will consider Crisis Core. Maybe, maybe sometime, that seems like the kind of game where I'd be okay waiting for it to go on sale, then sitting down with it some evening for like three hours, and if I'm feeling it, I'll keep going, and if not, I won't. If anything, Crisis Core will make you care about Zack. Mmm, I don't know. I don't like... Okay, look, I'm gonna say something that people aren't going to like, but here we go. Zack to me just seems like Titus from Final Fantasy X. Everything I know about them, they're like the same character, like personality-wise, and I, I just don't like that kind of character. I feel like Crisis Core is going to significantly matter in Rebirth. If Rebirth, like, hinges... Like, I know what happens in Crisis Core. I, I watch videos on it and stuff. If, 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 like, Rebirth hinges on Crisis Core, then we are all doomed. That is just never going to work for me. Zack is much dumber. I mean, they're both pretty dumb. Um, there's a good chance Genesis, uh, Anheil, Lazard, Kunse, and Sicilian will show, will show up in Rebirth. So maybe you should check out Crisis Core. That doesn't make me want to check out Crisis Core. That makes me not want to keep playing Rebirth. <laughs> Here's the cell. Everyone in Soldier is fucking insane and Zack is the only normal guy. Agumon 9000? That's not a bad pitch. That's actually pretty good. Okay, okay, so just to be clear about the Zack Titus thing, uh, I am basing that on nothing. I have, I haven't experienced that much Zack, so I just, I, I got a general vibe of Zack and was like, okay. Uh, yeah, so fair enough if people want to say that's not true. Okay, guys, so we're going to start real chill at this stream. We're going to start with playing some Disillusion. Let me just, I'm going to step out of camera frame because... Here you can see me demoing the original Crow t-shirt from the very first run of iPatch Wolves. Still one of my favorite designs. I think we fucking killed it with this design. I still love it. iPatchWolves.com if you want. Blah, blah, blah. John, I have the exact same headset and I swear you're wearing it the wrong way around. Yes, I am. And the reason for that is because I my computer doesn't have like a Bluetooth input right now. And so the wire has to go on this side. So I have to wear it like this. 
If I was like running in this, I would wear it like this. So the buttons are at the back and at my thumb. But if I wear it like this, I get this wire trailing across me and it's irritating. People love to point that out. There is your answer. Leave me alone. Okay, I have never played this game, but wow, that is an opening title screenshot. This does not want to run at all. The game seems so cursed, it's not even showing up. Okay, if we do that, and then we bring it like this. This isn't tidy, but it should work. Um, okay, I think I think we kind of have a semi reasonable layout. Okay, here we go. Again, I know nothing about this game. You arrive at a happy and quiet town. A strange noise is coming from the shady home. You should not enter the tower until you arm yourself. It is unsafe. Where would you like to go? Uh, the tower. Oh, okay. It's a massive tower in the distance. You travel to the tower. Oh, good lord. Take these socks. Good for walking. Use the S key to pull up your menu and equip your goods. Oh, and if you don't know, Alt enter will full screen. Will that break my stream? No, I think we're good. Chat, we good? Do not enter the tower until you arm yourself. Immediately enters tower. I, 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 oh, I, I was, my attention was elsewhere. I wish to escape. Oh, this game is a nightmare. If you move your chair left a little, you're golden, mate. So that would be this way. Uh, things are, hang on, I gotta. Oh, things are awkward. So, yes, yeah, so something about this means I can either look at my Streamlab setup. <sighs> Pain. Basically, I can either look at the game full screen or I can look at my Streamlab setup. I can't do both, so I think I just gotta leave it like this. Be careful. Climbing the tower is pretty dangerous here. Also, a quick tip. Growing stronger is fine and dandy, but you're not gonna learn any new skills unless you talk to new people. Be careful how you come across or nobody is going to want to teach you anything. I ain't letting no one pass this gate. Okay. I don't want to fight. Golem has started to... This is... This is a strange one. A new ascender? I'll give you these in the house. You will need them. Gained 15 potions. Okay. Uh, equipment. Uh, change. Legs. Let's put some socks on. Everyone who comes here to climb the tower, but has anyone ever reached the top? Whoa, let it die reference. Oh, man. I have so much fondness for let it die. I feel like I'm the only person on earth who actually loves that game. Okay, let's try fight this guy. Evan James Miracle emerged. I don't know why I can read this font, but I can't read the Omicron font. Attack. What is happening? Breath armor. Increase one's defense weight. Breath weapon. Increase one ally's attack using... Okay. Are you hungry? What? What is... Am I doing damage? Okay, he's taking 12 damage. Now he hits me for two. Nice! Okay, we got him. Golem was victorious. 15 XP received. Three dust found. Golem is now knowledge two. This is much better than random encounters, right? Yes. I still feel an urge to fight you, though. Hob emerged... So no part of the screen is getting cut off. You are you are literally just just seeing it like that. Five damage on hub. And we evade. Nice. Okay. Okay, I feel like we're getting this. Six damage on hub. 
Oh my god, he used backwards talk. I have I have no chance, chat. I cannot interpret. You know, chat, I played some strange games in my time. Uh, this is fucking weird. I, I, I'm taking no damage. He is just... He's just speaking at me. Golem is victorious. 15. Mr. MP juice found. Okay. Mm, I don't want to fight another one of him. Okay, let's do it down this way. Dean shared her for lunch today. You want some? Yeah, I love sardines. Actually, do not have enough to share. Oh God, damn it! Evan James Miracle emerged. Okay, we just we can just beat these little fellas to death. It's fine. It's it's not it's not a big deal. Um, so I was watching AEW Revolution, and as someone who has not been into De AEW in recent times, let me tell you that was a goddamn fantastic pay per view. Uh, I recorded two six-star matches on that pay-per-view. Uh, Takeshita versus Will Osprey was one of the best things I've ever seen. Fucking phenomenal. And I thought Sting's send-off match was absolutely phenomenal. Brilliant, brilliant match. That's where Jarrett Darby did the jump. It sure is one dinner, and that was a, that was a hell of a thing. Um, I'm also halfway through this week's Dynamite, after not watching Dynamite for a while. It's fucking great. It's really, really good so far. She keeps asking me, am I hungry? Um, I am getting hopeful that AEW is getting good again. Golem is now knowledge three. I don't know what that means. What is this game? They call me the Sunflower Boy. Oh, it's just another one of these things. I think I'm about to die. But not from- no, okay, this guy isn't doing any damage. Does this game have sound? Can you guys not hear the sound? Oh, it's a bit low. Sorry about that. Let me just turn it up. Okay, I'm nearly dead, which is okay, because I think we need to... I kind of want to restart and look around the town, because I have no idea what's happening. Oh, uh, television. It's an old television. You found four potions. Oof, okay, sure. They call me the Sunflower Boy. Uh, cute name. Oh, thanks. Am I on your way? No. I was actually just leaving. Gained 15 XP. Hell yeah. Call, call, call. Okay, so that's just a regular crow. I like crows. I have a crow tattoo I'm gonna get here in June. Uh, okay. Oatmeal is an old person food. Evan James Miracle emerged. I think this guy is going to kill me pretty quick. He took no damage. Maybe not. He took no damage. Am I too high level? Okay, this is a weird fucking game. Um, I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. You arrive happy in, at, at a happy and quiet town. A strange noise is coming from the shady home. You should not enter the tower until you arm yourself. See, in, in, in my dyslexic rage, I thought it said you should not enter the shady home until you, you arm yourself. Okay, let's go to the shady home. Looks like somebody is home. 
Oh my god, what do you want? Um, just looking. Just looking. You'd be looking like a clueless Kurt, you know? I uh, don't know. I'll tell you what you know. You gotta get your rear tusks if you ain't ready to take this, Kurt. Now, get out my abode. Butter knife retains. Okay, that sounds good. That sounds like a weapon. You arrive at a happy and quiet town. Where would you like to go? Let's go to the town hall. Looks like nobody's around. You arrive at a happy and quiet town. Where would you like to go? The wall. Leave me be. This is a weird game. Okay, I want to go back to the shitty home. Looks like somebody is here. You are back and I don't appreciate it. Can I just ask some questions? Fine. Where am I? My abode, where you should not be. That's a sassy ghost! Okay, I want to go back to the shady home. You are back and I do not appreciate it. Can I just ask some questions? Fine. Why everyone's so hostile? You are the one barging into innocent fellers' homes. Hey, what gives you the right? If God was here, if God was here, he'd tell it to your face. Man, you're some kind of stinker. Uh, oh man, I'm sorry, I don't, don't get worked up, don't care. And you smell like old radish. I think this is the kind of person you gotta stand up to him, and I think he'll appreciate this better. Ha, <laughs> not even rotten apples got feelings, Kurt. Please leave me. Okay, I wanna, I wanna... We ain't got nothing more to discuss, okay. Okay, let's go back to the wall and see if that thing will say anything to us. Leave me be, okay. Okay, let's go to the tower. Okay, let's get our socks from the cat. Okay, now let's equip our butter knife, which gives us Double the attack. That's pretty good. And then our body, then our legs. Let's put our socks on. So right now, from to understand it, we are completely naked except for a butter knife and a pair of socks. Which, I mean, what more? What more could you possibly need? Okay, we're, we're gonna cut this guy up real good, real buttery like. That text goes by so fast. 19 damage like a like a knife through hot body nice okay good stuff okay i don't want to fight him again okay, let's do it this way have you ever read the web to and marry me husband i don't believe i have but it also sounds kind of familiar what's it about Oh, oh, what is this creature? You ain't gonna climb this tower if you don't. Got the killer be ki kill mindset. I agree. See? Some people say play it dirty. I say teach them to leave you be. I've only been. I've only been tit to you because you're obviously new. Learned toxic. Oh, hell yeah. Should! Okay, let's try and use toxic. Golem uses toxic. Attack seven damage. Oh shit, he's strong. Uh, uh oh. Oh, uh, I think this guy might be too strong. He's taking no damage. Damage go. Fucking god damn it! So no woman who's J who's G1 who's dying from from cancer and discovers that her best friend and husband have been cheating on her. Her husband's Silent Hill 2's her and she is sent back 10 years to the past and she decides to take revenge on her best friend and husband. That sounds, that sounds spicy. Okay, let's try that again. Or would you like to go, let's go to the shady home. Butter knife obtains. I wonder if we can get more shit from him. Um, what are you? I am what you be calling one simple feller. 
I don't like going out and I don't like visitors. You seem like a smart fella. Got any tips? Are you a fart smeller who won't tell me, let me be? If I give you this, will you leave me be? Receive weird guy's gift. Yes, okay. okay. Let's go to the tower again. Oh, and we can also save. That was probably, that would have probably been a good idea. Uh, do you like One Piece? And then Professor Pigeon responded, yeah, he made a whole video about it. Correction, I made two whole videos about it. Uh, One Piece is great. I am way behind on it, but yeah, I like One Piece. Okay, I'm just gonna keep going right, and what will be will be. Sunflower Boy is public enemy number two. Um, uh, I am Sunflower Boy. Liar. Hob emerged. <laughs> this game is kind of baffling. No, no kind of. This is... I, I would be so curious to talk to the person who made this game and just know why the decisions were made that were made. Hey, dude, you still do the wrestling? Um, yeah, pretty much. I haven't, I haven't, I haven't booked any new dates in a while. Uh, I've had some organizers reach out, but to be honest with you, I've just been so fucking busy with so much shit that I have not had a chance to really get back to people. It's like, right now, it's like doing the video for Super Eye Patch Wolf, uh, doing obviously stuff like this for regular Eye Patch Wolf, which I love. Like, I, I, I love doing this shit. And then I've got Versus Wolves as well, I've got the merch on top of that. And then I also have like real life stuff like trying to find a house and it hasn't left a lot of brain bandwidth for anything beyond what is already on my plate. But um, I was thinking about it and I was thinking of a few different things I could do. I might attempt to take part in a wrestling match this year. I will see, I will see. I think some very specific things would have to play out for me to do that, but it could be kind of fun. It would also need to be a very specific wrestling match because I am not a trained wrestler, and there's a very limited number of things I could do. And I think I would also need to know that it was like, wrestlers were actually benefiting from it, and it wasn't just me being a tit. <laughs> Uh, that's a shame, would love to do so myself. How would you get into it? So, the way I started wrestling, um, uh, I've told this story before, but I basically, I, I, I got fired from a job, like, must be t 11, 12 years ago now. I felt really bad, like, when you get, as I'm sure some of you know, when you get fired, your confidence goes way, way down. And so I was like, okay, oh shit, come on, come on, please, 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 die, die, die. <laughs> took no damage. 24 damage, Hob is slain. Okay, let's save, let's save. And so I was kind of like, okay, I had this job I really liked. Clearly life is meaningless and there's no point in anything because this was a job I worked really, really hard at and got fired pretty much just because they were like, hey, listen, we're a startup company and you already set up our pipeline, so uh, bye. And it sucked. It felt really, really bad. Like I was really genuinely crushed. Um, and so I knew I needed to do something different. So I actually looked up wrestling classes in my local area and there was rest professional wrestling being taught. Not, I'd say 20 minutes from my house. Okay, we are low on health, but I think we're doing okay. That is so intriguing. And um, so that was it. I started training to be a pro wrestler. And I really loved it. I thought it was really great. Um, I was really fascinated by how much of a focus they put on like storytelling and stuff um i don't think i can beat this guy i got nothing golem has fallen shit 
Uh, it, there was like, it was really, it was really cool. It was really like, um, interesting. I remember I got in trouble one class because, um, you know, there was a bunch of people tossed into the same class. And I, I was like in my kind of mid twenties. And one of the people I was training with was like this just tiny teenage girl, right? And she was really cool and she was like really into wrestling. But we were doing the chop circle, which is where basically you all stand in a circle and you chop the person next to you and they chop the person next to them. And then it goes around in a big circle. You know, people then get eliminated and they have to step out and all this kind of stuff. So the circle gets tighter and tighter and tighter. And I found myself standing next to this like 15 year old teenage girl. And I was meant to smack her in the chest as hard as I could with my hands. And I don't know what you fucking call it. It was like years of like social engineering or something like that. And I just couldn't do it. You know, I could not hit her, which was fucked up because I should have because that's why she was there for. Like by not hitting her, I was like... I guess in a way I was kind of like being sexist. That's a, that's exactly what I was being, you know. Um, but could not do it and got in trouble and everything for it. Uh, it I don't. Know. I think misogyny is maybe a little bit of a, <laughs> little bit of a harsh way of putting it. But yeah, Catholic guilt. There is definitely some Catholic guilt in there as well. Okay, so what if I escape? Shit. Okay. Well, what do I do? Because I, I got nothing, right? Hmm. I got no potions, I got no key items, I got no armor. Was it because she was a girl or because she was a teenager? It was both, but it was also that she was small. And, like, the thing is now, like, now in jujitsu, like, if I have to fight a girl, I will treat them exactly the same way I would a dude. In that, like, I'll gauge their strength and fight them accordingly with that. And, like, there are some tough fucking women in jiu-jitsu, I tell you. Okay, we might just need to rely on... Took no damage. Yes! Okay, we got past him. Oh, who's this enchanting young lady? You want a shop, yeah? Yes, buy... <gasps> Potion! And I have 93 dust. Okay, let's buy... Let's just buy as many potions as we can. Okay, we'll buy five. That'll keep us going. John, can I ask why Aura Aura is undeserving of six stars? Because I, I loved Aura Aura Aura. I would not say... I think there are better action movies than Aura Aura Aura. But... Yeah, I, I, I... Do not... Is this a dream? Do not underestimate how good five stars is. Five stars is at the point where you're one of the best pieces of media I have seen that year. I would make sure you explore every floor to its fullest. You never knew what you may find and learn. Okay. That is so... I... Fuck, I like that chat. I just think of a seal every time he says or or. So, okay, here's the thing. I saw that a lot in the comments of Versus Wolves. And here's what I'll say to that. That's just how Irish people talk. Uh, it's... That's how Irish people say or. <gasps> Uh, if you can see me, your head ain't on straight. I, 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 I love her chat. I. No, what are you all scared of? She's great. But I suppose that ain't out of the ordinary for someone like you. Who, who are you? My name is. Melpamine. I'm doing a bit of investigating here of this tower. What are you looking for? I'm looking here where everyone keeps disappearing. I ain't real supposed to be here though. If my sisters found out, that would surely be tragic for me. She's not going to be a problem at all. No, she's not. She's amazing. I love her chat. I'm looking for where everyone keeps disappearing too. I ain't really supposed to be here though. Must be it. Oh. Um, surely was not expecting to encounter someone like you. Let's do each other a favor. How about it? Yes, my love. Good, good. 
I, I can't communicate with anyone here except you, so I'm going to follow you around and listen to your conversation. Sound like a plan? I know there are some hostile folks around here, and unfortunately I'm not much of a help on that front since I can't interact with anyone. Sorry, why don't we get going? I would not want to hold you up for lot too long. Is she gone? She's not in my party, that's weird. Oh no, chat, he's simping again. No, I'm not! I just thought she was interesting. I... I... I, I love her, chat! I... She's not gonna be a problem at all. No, she's not! She's amazing! I love her, chat! But yeah, no, so that was a big thing with Versus Wolves. Everyone in the fucking comments was like, Why do you say or, or, or like a seal? And my answer to that is because I grew up in a different place to you. That's all there is to it. It was a little weird, but like, oh shit. But, I mean, I, I get it as well. I think I am becoming intrigued by this here video game. I am getting a kind of, I'm getting a good feeling from it. I'm, I'm curious where all this is going and I am having a, I am starting to have the kind of time that makes me feel like I have to keep going with this. Not, like, I, I, I do want to play Tekken on this stream and we will. But I don't know, like, how do you guys feel about it? Because I'm just feeling like, oh, there's like a weird vibe to this thing that I'm into. Being real, it looks like a migraine. I think that's totally fair. I think, I think it absolutely does. <gasps> it's her! You're new to this here, so let me tell you something important. The grey doors are going to take you to the next floor, no doubt. Portals to the- portals, on the other hand, are completely optional and take you to side locations. Sometimes these portals can bring you deeper into the tower. Okay, so maybe we'll have a little more of a look around this floor before we go. Man, climbing this tower is boring, but why do I still feel like doing it? Power through, I know you can do it. I feel better... If I sap all your energy. God damn it. So far, feeling this uh, like this is random and weird for the sake of it, but hopefully it goes so far. I kind of felt like that, and then the girl <laughs> showed up, and I, and I kind of felt like... I guess the combination of the music that started playing when she appeared and her in general, it's like, oh, now I feel like maybe there's something more here. But maybe I'm wrong. We'll see. It can be tough to know who is hostile and who is not. There really is no way to tell, as most look similar. I highly recommend you still speak to everyone. You never know what you may run into. The cow's machina, um, or cow's machina. What is this? I haven't scanned this Shin Megami 4 anime while going through a window screensaver maze aesthetic called anyway. Uh, this to me is definitely the window screensaver maze, but I'm kind of feeling it. Yeah, chat, I wasn't sure about Nier until I saw the girls show up. Mm. That is not that is not strictly what I said, chat. It's a, it was a more complicated assessment than that, okay? Please think about me. Please, please. It's not my duty to completely drain you. It's, ne it's now my duty to completely drain you. No. Chew on your flesh, for you will hand it to me in a passionate kiss. Jesus! Hello, Traveler. Oh my god. Hello, Traveler of the Agora. What can we do for you? What do you offer? Why, of course, we offer you sound advice. Here is some for you. Everything becomes music in the void. Do come visit a kid. Jesus. Oh, this person looks kind of spooky. The cuts on me, they run much deeper. If you could, would you strike down your foes with righteous lightning, would you? Yes, lead my life astray. I will walk. I will walk you on water. Learn to zap. Okay, okay. Uh, you know the game is good when we completely disregard the Tekken download in the background. Tekken is currently at 78%. I, I am keeping an eye on it here. And we are going to play some Tekken. What can run but never walks, has a mouth but never talks, has a head but never weeps. Candle is running, doesn't have a mouth. I guess a river? Correct. Gained 5 XP. Even the way, oh jeez, the way the game like starts you off looking at a wall, it is so bafflingly just confusing. And it's intentional, it's, it's trying to be obtuse, it's trying to be weird. 
You're going to a new location. Oh my god. Oh, this place hurts my brain. My precious, precious brain chat. I came here for a lesson in Grindonomics and Hustling 101. Sounds like a Leslie Bestington class. But the lecture is nowhere to be found. You lecture, get real. Oh. Okay, let's get out of here. This... You know, I can feel there are multiple paths on this floor. I recommend you look around and choose carefully. Okay. He looks kind of strong. I, re I am a representat representative of the Ashtar Galactic Command speaking to you for many years. For many years, you have seen us as lights in the sky. Epla emerged. Okay, let's try use some of our powers here. Um... Oh, that's powerful. Remember, the main path did not always be it. There are branching routes and teleporters all over the tower. This makes me feel like this is something I could get really lost in, and that makes me worried. This tower is my own personal hell. I think I've seen floor 17, and it makes me shudder. What does that mean, shudder? Rich bad at games, sorry you have to deal with Jeff Bacalar. Well, you know, we all have our struggles, and mine is having to talk to Jeff Bacalar every two weeks. Other than that, my life is basically perfect. But yeah, I, I do have to talk to Jeff Bacalar and um, well, him and Wooly really are. When I do like, when I when I do like a kind of, I guess a kind of audit of my life, I look at what are the points creating tension, what are the things that are making me unhappy, and it's Wooly, it's Jeff Bacalar, it's Foxcade, my editor, who I keep fucking forgetting to fire. Uh, Fox, if you're watching this, remind me to fire you next week. But, but please do finish this video. Uh, thank you, I appreciate it. So yeah, life is like that, you know? Like you, you just kind of, you get thrown together with people who really bring nothing but negativity to your life and there's nothing you can do about it. But you know, we, we, you roll with it. You, you be the final game. Oh, this guy's moving. Can I ask something? Yes. You ever tried por pork bean and jelly sandwich? I heard they are mighty fine. Wish I got one before I entered the tower. Okay. Good lord. Want to learn how to singe your enemies? Yes! Let me ask you something first. Is loneliness a power that we possess to give to give or take? Wait, I have a better question. What are you wearing for underwear? Uh, I am currently wearing boxers. But they're like boxer briefs? But I guess boxers. Kind of bland, no? Well, I mean, I wasn't planning on doing nothing today. Okay, I'll teach you that skill. Learn toast, thank you. Prepare for trouble and make it double. <gasps> oh shit, we have a booster and a hob, okay. Let's use zap on the hob, because we know we can take them out quick. Oh, that thing does a lot of damage. Okay, the hob is slain. Um, and we are dead. Fuck! God damn it. I don't even remember the last time we saved. Ah, uh, it's not too far back. I like this game. Kind of giving me like a weird headache. But maybe that's intended. Maybe that's part of the creative experience of whatever, whatever the fuck is happening here. Um, are we going to expect a Super Eye Patch Wolf video about this game? Um, I think in general it's a good idea to never expect a Super Eye Patch Wolf video about anything. Because at the rate I'm going, I think I have maybe five left. Um, and that will cover... At the rate my video production is slowing down, that will cover about the next six years. So, um, wouldn't count on it. Um, I don't know, I would have to play more of this game to find out. 
I think like I am I am into its vibe and I am enjoying it but there are other games I would also be more keen to play right to to make a video about um let me tell you about that them there void stranger now that is a goddamn incredible game I don't know if I'm gonna make a video about it but I think I might I think I might uh we'll see and jokes on you this game is full on MK ultra and you you and, and you're getting brainwashed lol get wrecked uh you know what if any game was gonna do that i would absolutely not be surprised if it was this one okay so this time i might target the 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 rooster first because <laughs> i know i don't think that thing does a lot of damage Let's try physical attack the booster. Maybe we can kill it. Fuck, man. That thing's strong. I wish you did a video on the first Fear and Hunger. But, but, but Jujutsu Guy 1994, I did. There's, there, there is, I did do a video on, on Fear and Hunger. I am super eye patch wolf slash H bomber guy collab would be insane. So, like, I, I love Harry. Harry is becoming like a very close friend of mine and I have so much respect for him as a creator. He is awesome. I don't know why we would collab. Like, as in make a video together. I think if we made a video together, it would kind of just be like a... I think we would just both be compromising, you know what I mean? Um, but that's I I just have never really seen the point that that is that is fucking spooky I don't like that at all. I've never really seen the point in collabing It's kind of feel in this place though um, I've never really seen the point of collaborating with people and um, to the point that like I think I Think there's there's certain youtubers and like I'm not gonna like, say who they are but like there's certain YouTubers who, over the years, have gotten offended because, like, say we follow each other on, like, Twitter or something like that, and I'll immediately get a message from them, usually being really nice, and they'll kind of be like, um, then be like, we should totally do a collab. And I'll be really honest, and I'll just be like, oh, sorry, mate, I don't actually, like, do collabs or anything like that. Like, they're just not really my thing. And I think sometimes people think that I'm, like... I don't know, like, big dog in them, or like, act, pretending like, or acting like I don't do collabs when I just don't want to do a collab with them. But the truth is, I actually just don't do collabs. Like, when have you ever seen me make a video with anyone? Like, I'll occasionally have people, um, I'll, I'll occasionally, like, have someone do a thing in a video. Like, right now I have, um, I don't know if people know that channel, Lines in Motion. Really, really cool channel. Super, super talented After Effects artist. I have her doing something for for my um, for a new video that I think is going to be pretty cool. But yeah, you cameo in videos, but to me, cameos is not the same as a collab. Collab to me implies like um, like creating something. Game Grumps, no, Game Grumps paid me to read a thing, and I did. Um, so in other words, you hate H Bomber Guy. I hate H Bomber Guy so fucking much. Oh my god. Lines in Motion mentioned they're my favorite creator. I'm just gonna assume you meant second favorite Armu ideas. Um, I must explain to you how all the mistakes, all the mistaken idea of denouncing pleasure and praising pain was born. I'll give you a complete account of the system and expound on the actual teachings. One of the great, of the great explorer of truth, the master builder of human happiness. Um, Remember that time Harry paid for your meal? What a monster. Just to watch your misremembering, uh, I paid for his meal, and he was furious. I I paid for the meal early in the meal, and then I went to the bathroom, and he tried to pay for the meal. Um, and when I came back, he was just like, I can't, I can't believe you've done this. Oh, I can't believe you've done this. Um, that was such a lovely morning. Um, would you consider collabing with Wooly Versus on a project? I think you guys would get along. So I feel like I have to say this whenever Wooly Versus comes up. Generally, I don't associate with negative people. Um, I don't enjoy them. And I think with Wooly Versus, he's really just one of those creativities who's all about like, or one of, the, one of those creatives who's just all about the, 
is this game fucking broken or um or is this actually the intended i i i'm guessing this is just the in this game is a nightmare it's so Eight oatmeal plain, I f can feel the boredom in my veins. Ooh. Oh. That was fucking cool. Hey kid, you look like you want some answers and I just happened to get them. Why would you help me? Because it's a cruel world, let me redeem yourself by helping you. Things are... There are beings that exist and live between realms, being able to create their own realms through the power of strong desires. They live much longer than a normal soul. These beings are called Devas. They hold many secrets and tips to surviving this journey. If you want to make it to the top of this tower, you should seek one out. Our souls are weak. Me and you are not able to stay in those realms for very long before we are thrust back into sam samsara. A devil soul is strong allowing them to avoid the cycle for um, an insurmountable amount of time. Their age makes them wise beyond belief. Many portals in the tower have the potential to take locations created by those beings you would have. Better look, better look asking around. There are bound to be souls who have met a Deva. I wish you luck on your journey. Okay, let's see. This is some kind of madness or kind of acid trip dream. Uh, it's, it's, I have no idea. I, 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 this, I knew this game was meant to be weird. I could not have pegged how much weirder it was going to be. There's some kind of invisible walls. I must be at a mirror. Okay, I think that's what's happening. It's her! Seek a Deva. That guy is nuts. Off his gourd. You do know what those are, right? No. Not someone who will talk to us. Stay away from them, okay? Yes. Yes, my strange demon wife. You are going to a new location. It's an old television. You found four potions. Hell yeah. It's an old television. You found one PBJ. Lots of folks like this fella have the potential to teach you new moves. Look around, leaves are falling, the sky is a shade of death. Stop right there, criminal scum. You violated the law. That is what you could say if you could freeze your enemies in their tracks. Let me ask you something. I am a I am a dreamlike fairyland, but I can't be horrific too many when I cover the land with ice. What am I? Ninth level of hell, dome, Fuji, mother Russia, winter. Yes, you seem like people love, uh, some people love winter, some people hate it, which you, I love winter. I suppose it will show you how to freeze your foes. Be careful not to get frozen to your toes. Learn frost. Thank you, sir. Um, I think I picked up a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I remember I had an argument with chat before that I don't think anyone has ever actually eaten a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. That is not something that happens in Ireland. It's just insane. And then I made a joke about it on Twitter and the tweet went like mildly viral with people being like, I can't believe this person doesn't think that peanut butter and jelly sandwich exists. This is what happens when you're too scared to step outside your own comfort zone. And it's like, oh my fucking God. Oh, the fuck. Just the... I swear to God, the fucking Twitter intellectuals, there is a very good reason I do not go on that site anymore. And that is a good majority of it. So Twitter did as Twitter does. Yeah, but it was like people thinking they were making a genuine point with being like, look at this person trapped in their echo chamber. It's so sad. But luckily, I, an enlightened centrist, I don't know why I think they were a centrist, I'm just assuming they were, can, can see above it all. And it was, it was just... I was just making a sandwich joke, buddy. Now that said, I actually have never had a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I keep wanting to have one every time I go to America, but then I get scared that it's going to be one of those things that Americans think is like nice, but then you try it and it's actually not like Taco Bell or Hot Pockets or um, 
uh, a mac and cheese. I highly recommend crunchy PB and blackberry jam. I mean, I just, that sounds kind of mental to me, but I, mean, I, I would give it a go. Hold on, you don't like mac and cheese? I think, I think you guys like mac and cheese because you've been eating it since you were tiny children. I don't think it's a nice meal. I'm sorry. Are you trying to pick fights with freedom from baby, 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 baby? Maybe, maybe that's my problem. I just hate freedom. I hate freedom and liberty and enterprise. Uh, I think that's it. I think that's, that's my problem. John Chat will eat you, you need to stop. Well, look, they gotta eat something, because, let me tell you, it's not gonna, it's not gonna be any of the shit I just talked about. Yeah, so, I, I have a friend who's American, and I went over to her one night, and she was, like, so pumped to cook me mac and cheese. She was, like, she knew I had never tried it, and she really, really wanted me to eat it. And I went over, and I choked that plate down. I did not enjoy it. But I didn't want to be like this. So okay, I see people in the chat are like um, some people in the chat are, are, are like, well, Irish food sucks. Uh, I know, I know, Irish food sucks. It's just, it's just bad food. Okay, it's just meat and water and potatoes and like weird boiled cabbage shit. It's, it's no good. So look, I I'm, I'm just, I'm just being real. Okay, just being real. That's why you guys are here. The final gamer is is always just spitting truth. It's like I can't help it. Was it the cheese or the texture? It was just like I felt like really mild cheese combined with just kind of like I don't know, not not even like pasta. What is this thing? I could sweep a girl off her feet with the just my charm. What about you, girl? You wanna know what? I got this little move I used. Learned gust. Thank you. Everyone can fuck to talk about a, a breakfast roll is the... Okay, a breakfast roll is good. A bre an Irish breakfast roll is great. So, yeah, no argument there. Oh, this is so fucking trippy. I am one of those guys who eats old food from three days ago off the stove. You know what? I get it. You know what I, you know what I sometimes do, chat? Sometimes I order a pizza late at night and I lay it out on my counter and I let it get good and stale then the next day I heat it up in a frying pan and eat it it's the kind of person I am sometimes I'll buy a, I'll, I'll buy a box of cookies and I'll, 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 I'll open them and I'll let them sit there until they get good and soft and then I'll then I'll just then I'll just slurp it down like a like a duck eating a slug. That's what I am. You know, I hear calf's pork beef and jelly. Shop has a new item on there. What is it? Dean chowder. Go for the chowder heads. Nice. Okay. Confirm sociopath. Hey, look, I'm just I'm just I'm just being real. Okay, I'm just being me. I don't have toes. Good for you, buddy. Okay, tech and download is at 99%. I am now starting to worry that I don't have a good enough graphics card to run it, but I guess we'll see. The guy in this room is a real prick. Why? You know what? Go find out. Oh. Oh, I don't know about this person. Screw off. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're right. You're right. Okay. Tekken 8 is verifying on Steam. So we should be good to go, hopefully soon. You're gonna go online... Um... 
I'm gonna go right online. I probably, like, I'll play, like, I don't want to play too long because I actually have to go to bed pretty early tonight because I need to wake up early tomorrow, get a full day of work in, and then I need to do a little road trip down to Cork with my friend Sean, and then we are both going to be fresh and ready for the fighting game tournament Saturday morning. This time, I'm not gonna miss it. That's the plan, anyway. People may recognize Sean from, uh... The Infinite Reviews videos, it is the same Sean. We are friends because in truth, Ireland is only about uh, nine people long. Aren't you also selling at the Artist Alley over at DCC? Unfortunately, how did you know that pocket very little? Well, you must be keeping up. Unfortunately, I had to drop out of the Artist Alley at DCC. Basically, my hand is so fucked up that I don't think I'd be able to sell properly. Which sucks because they put it out that I was going to be there. You know what, chat? Fuck it. This is as good a place to end any- I think this was pretty cool. Dissolution, um, I think if you're vibing with this game, go check it out. Like, I, I think it's pretty good. I'll probably play a little bit more of it. Don't know if it's super my thing, but like, it was interesting. It's a cool game. Okay, let's see where we are with Tekken.